What is digital transformation all about? Five success stories that will spark your interest. Adapt or perish. There's no other way to be competitive in the digital age. But how do you go about doing it? And what does that look like? Welcome to the Money Thinkers channel. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look into how digital transformation can sharpen competitive edge. While we're confident that digital initiatives will increase operational efficiency and promote growth, it's always best to draw inspiration from real world examples. And so, throughout this video, we'll be looking at five awesome stories that highlight the important role digital transformation has to play in today's business. At the end of this video, irrespective of whether you're a large corporation, a small business, or just a driven entrepreneur with future tech ambitions, these stories of successful digital transformation will provide you with important insights and takeaways to survive in the digital economy. So sit back, relax with your favorite drink, and enjoy the ride. Remember to go clickety-clack on the like button and do a tap dance on that notification bell so you get to know immediately when we release videos on the channel. Walmart's Digital Transformation Strategy Investing significantly in technology. When it comes to recounting digital transformation success tales, Walmart has garnered some notoriety. There's a reason why they're mentioned in almost every article on the subject. Indeed, the figures speak for themselves. Walmart invested $11.7 billion in technology for the 2018 fiscal year, making it the world's third largest IT spender after Amazon and Alphabet, putting together a strong technical team. In 2018, 17,000 technology personnel were hired, with 2,000 more expected to be added in its nine tech centers by the end of 2019. To top it, Suresh Kumar, Amazon's former vice president of international retail systems and, most recently, Google's vice president and general manager of display, video, app advertisements, and analytics, has been selected as Walmart's new CTO and CDO. Adopting a Comprehensive Strategy to Digitalization All of this suggests that it's no longer about replatforming e-commerce business, but about replatforming across the board and implementing transformation strategies throughout all elements of organization from supply chain management and delivery to overall customer experience. Using technology, shelf scanning robots, and electronic shelf labeling to improve operations. Walmart employs shelf scanning robot to detect which stock keeping unit is in its slot and the price associated with it. This helps to minimize poor inventory performance, which leads to lost revenue, and it improves demand prediction accuracy. Furthermore, computerized shelf labels allow for automatic price modifications. Understanding transition. Walmart has tested cashierless technologies as well as mobile scan-and-go devices in numerous stores. However, Kumar pointed out that not all consumers choose to utilize them, and therefore, they blend cashierless technology with cashiers. This in essence creates space, quite literally, to experiment with design solutions. Walmart's Intelligent Retail Lab, or IRL, located in New York, is a fully functional store that includes an AI lab. It spans 50,000 square feet and houses over 30,000 sensors, cameras, and processors linked by enough cabling to climb Mount Everest five times that monitor product inventory and availability. This is the place to find, study, and implement AI solutions. Examples include automatically sending out-of-stock warnings to internal applications that notify assistants when it's time to restock, apps ensuring shopping carts are available, and monitoring cash register lines. Target's Digital Transformation Strategy Leading a digital transformation strategy with excellent leadership. This American department store chain hired Mike McNamara, who had previously served as Tesco's CIO in Europe as its new CIO in 2014. He completely overhauled Target's IT department, streamlining priorities, implementing more agile working methods, and investing in modern digital systems. Quote, technology was and is too important to outsource. It plays an enormous role in determining the winners of any industry. He stated in an interview emphasizing Target's in-house talents, which the company now has roughly 4,500 technologists and data scientists across the United States and India. In 2014, 70% of the team was outsourced. By 2022, that figure had dropped to just 7%. Investing in cloud architecture. Quote, today, Google takes most of our guest-facing traffic. We've actually created our own deployment platform, we call it TAP, for Target Application Program, and that allows us to push workloads into GCP or into our own data centers, or indeed down into our own stores, of which we've got about 19,000 across countries and all our little mini data centers, he explains in another interview. The company also envisions a hybrid cloud. Quote, we can operate stable workloads much cheaper in our data centers, but then for elastic workloads, placing them where they're best needed is the true nature of hybrid cloud, 
Whether that is our own data centers, it's Azure, it's GCP, it's all of the edges, he concluded in that talk. Building an omni-channel experience. Back in 2017, Target said that it would invest $7 billion to improve its supply chain, as well as its digital and in-store experiences. It was a wise move. Its store pickup and curbside pickup increased by 70% and 600% in the year 2020, respectively, while its online sales hit $16 billion during that same period, according to the story. Target's almost 19,000 stores were critical in the company's digital expansion. In fact, the chain's physical stores completed 95% of all sales in-store and online. According to the firm, omni-channel clients, those who buy from shops, mobile and online, spend on average four times more than store-only buyers and 10 times more than digital-only customers. Providing beneficial services to improve the consumer journey. Drive up, Target's curbside pickup service kicked off in 2018 and has been critical in increasing sales. Many technological advancements have been made to it over the years. Among the features are the capacity to provide backup alternatives when an item is unavailable, a chain-wide deployment of number of parking places for customers, and the ability to designate a substitute person to pick up an order. In addition, the business has expanded its drive-up sites and is trying to add canopies to aid with the weather, using technology to create more immersive user experiences. Their customers are now developing speech, AR, AI, and VR technologies to bring greater utility to their customers and incorporate deeper purchasing experiences. The goal is to develop a comprehensive digital strategy that provides deeper layers of personalization and interaction across every consumer-facing aspect of their ecosystem. Prioritizing personalization and consumer loyalty. The retailer's app provides a user-friendly and personalized shopping experience, as well as information about the user's preferences, behavioral patterns, and purchasing behaviors. Target Circle, the company's free loyalty program, on the other hand, is a safe bet and has been proven effective in customer retention. Among other benefits, it gives 1% back on every purchase and 5% back when you shop on your birthday. Sephora's Digital Transformation Strategy Combining digital and physical services to meet customers where they are. When the Sephora team found that customers frequently use their own smartphones in store to search for independent product evaluations or recommendations, they created a mobile app designed to mimic the knowledge of a personal shopping assistant. The client can use the Sephora app to scan the product for ratings and reviews, as well as to check up on previous purchases, view their wish list, and manage gift and loyalty cards. Later, they launched Virtual Artist, an augmented reality application that allows clients to virtually test on their beauty products. Color Match, an AI function, helps clients identify the best color hue for their skin tone based on an uploaded photo. Sephora's mobile app and website also provide a live beauty help option. Any customer who uses this function is matched in real time with the Sephora beauty counselor who can answer queries like, what foundation matches my skin tone? Or is the shampoo okay for my curls? Invest in giving and experimenting with in-house technology. The industry-leading cosmetics retailer has its own research laboratory in San Francisco where it creates new goods using augmented reality, artificial intelligence, and RIFD technology, among other technologies. Creating 360-degree client profiles. Overall, Sephora's digital goal aims to equip customers with new tools that will make them feel confident about making the purchase. It makes no difference whether you buy in-store or online. This presents itself in Sephora combining its digital and in-store staff in order to better fit with the profile of today's multi-channel shopper. By combining the two teams, the company has been able to create 360-degree customer profiles and track client-specific online and offline habits. Embracing innovation in mobile technology. The statistics speak for themselves. The Sephora To Go app is now ranked among the top 25 retail offers in Apple's App Store's shopping category. The app contains a plethora of interactive tools that allow for users to experiment with the newest makeup trends, as well as share their beauty tips and techniques via instant social sharing buttons. H&M's Digital Transformation Strategy Fostering a culture of courage in the business. Quote, this means you have to dare to do new things, to dare to fail, to try something outside of the box, or things that you haven't done before. At H&M, we have always been very entrepreneurial. You have to tap into that and ensure that people dare do those challenges, explains R.D. Zangami, Global Head of Advanced Analytics and AI at H&M Group. A digital mindset is critical to a digital transformation strategy, investing in technology to improve the customer experience. H&M began experimenting with mobile technology in order to enhance the purchasing experience. It, for example, released the Perfect Fit app, 
where customers can create their digital avatar based on selfies that they took and use it to try on clothes while shopping online. In addition, the firm has an image search option in their app, which allows consumers to scan photographs and find similar outfits by H&M, as well as visual search, which allows for shoppers to input a photo and use it to search for relevant things. Furthermore, the company is already experimenting with virtual try-ons. Quote, by creating digital twins of our products, customers can try on these clothes virtually, said Franz Borgstrand, who is working with developing 3D technology at H&M Group. Utilizing digital tools to build sustainability. H&M Group intends to have 100% of its brand's items designed for circularity by 2025. It created a unique circular design tool called Circulator in 2021 to that end. Its initial component is a downloadable booklet inviting stakeholders to quote, co-create and learn together. It's a four-part process. Step one, understand the customer. Step two is identify the product's purpose category, light, medium, or extensive use. Step three is to select appropriate materials. And step four is to choose design methods, such as increased durability, non-durability, increased recyclability, or waste avoidance. The input and learnings from this initial launch will be used to construct the second component, a scoring tool. In order to save material, the company is also investing in three technologies. H&M's design team created the Zero Waste Dress in 2022 using 3D technology and zero waste pattern cutting procedures. The dress was made from recycled polyester, and instead of building multiple typical prototypes before beginning production, the team used 3D technology to alter the color, form, and structure. Investing in new materials and recycling technology. The Loop, a garment-to-garment -garment recycling machine that the business has already installed in a Stockholm store, is one example. Another example is Renewacell, a firm in which H&M Group has invested, which is creating Circulose, a novel material manufactured by gently recovering cotton from worn-out clothes. H&M is also exploring incorporating technology into the products themselves. Like Vanessa Rothschild, H&M Group's Global Sustainability Steering and Development Manager puts it, quote, Product ID will make it simple for consumers to swap, share, and show garments. And in terms of impact follow-up, digital enablers will make it much simpler for garments to flow through circular business models, such as resale, rental, and repair. Nike's Digital Transformation Strategy a bold plan to become a digital-first, direct-to-consumer corporation. Specifically, Nike employs two methods, Consumers Direct Defense, CDO, and Consumer Direct Acceleration, CDA. CDO. The company has bid farewell to numerous relationships. Macy's, Urban Outfitters, Shoe Show, Dunham Sports, Dillard's, Fred Myers, Zappos, and Amazon, and has shifted its attention to D2C, leveraging on the digital. Accelerating innovation and product creation, expanding operations in 12 key cities across 10 countries, and increasing one-on-one -on -one interactions through interactive experiences across multiple media are all a part of their CDO strategy, CDA. This approach seeks to create a superior and seamless brand experience everywhere clients purchase, including digital, online to offline services, and physical experiences through retail concepts, Nike House of Innovation, Nike Rise, Nike Live, and Nike Unite. It also entails widening Nike's consumer constructions beyond runners and yoga practitioners to include men, women, and children categories with deeper product insights and higher expertise. Making significant improvements in mobile technology. This includes unique features such as the Nike Fit function of their app, which allows customers to scan their feet and pick the right shoe for them. It creates an ultra-precise scan using the computer's smartphone camera, collecting 13 points of data and creating a map of both feet. The app is also used to gather data and enhance the design of future products. Concentrating on gathering client information. Nike has been aggressively recruiting in-house data scientists and machine learning engineers to expand its capability in data analytics and artificial intelligence. It has also been active in startup acquisitions in order to increase competitiveness through data exploitation. For example, to reinforce its DTC approach, it purchased Select, a predictive analytics startup formed by MIT researchers in 2013, as well as Zodiac, a consumer data analytics firm, and Invertex, a computer vision company. Nike's most recent acquisition, Datalog, which it acquired in February 2021, one will assist Nike in integrating data from all sources. Furthermore, it's utilizing data and analytics to provide a better client experience. The Nike app, for example, gives users access to the Nike Plus Rewards program, which also provides members with tailored exclusives, early access to new products, priority admission to events, and customized workouts. In addition, the Nike Training Club and Nike Run Club applications track workout and running statistics and also provide audio instruction during workouts. Using technology to keep track of inventory, Nike's strategy revolves around technological success. 
Many Nike products, for example, are tagged with a Rain RFID tag chip, allowing them to be tracked from manufacturing to warehouse to shipment to store. This delivers real-time inventory information on product locations, stock numbers, and other details. This data can be pushed back into manufacturing for a speedier reaction to consumer needs, or it can be utilized to quickly divert items to more popular markets. Taking a chance on headless commerce. Customers are no longer doing the majority of their buying on traditional websites. Instead, buying is done through smartphone apps, IoT devices, and a variety of other channels. As a result, many businesses are implementing a headless commerce strategy, which strives to create a seamless purchasing experience for any channel that exists or will emerge. By linking multiple heads are linked to the same backend using application programming interfaces or APIs. APIs employ predefined protocols to allow apps from various frameworks to communicate with one another. Because all heads and sales channels are synchronized, this enables scalable multi-channel commerce. Using IT to strengthen the supply chain. Product design, production, forecasting, ordering, manufacturing, transportation, sales, distribution, and financial information processing for external and internal reporting reasons, retail operators, and other commercial activities are key areas. Nike, for example, uses Flyknit, a digitally developed knitting process that produces 60% less waste than a traditional cut and sew process. It also featured Flyprint, the world's first 3D printed textile upper and performance footwear. As another example, in conjunction with Geek Plus, the company has produced over 200 robots to increase total fulfillment capacity. And there you have it. Five digital transformation stories that demonstrate how top firms embrace change and innovative thinking. Digital transformation is the way to go, and it's never too late to start planning your digital strategy. The balance of forces, tools, processes, people, and mentality, as usual, will have the most impact. We've come to the end of today's video, and it's great to know that you followed through all the way until the end. Remember to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you're notified when we next upload valuable content like this. Thank you for your time, and until next time, stay inspired.